me isn't in my birthday yet Cause I gotta say you're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Second and the third and the rest of it You could be a one that the things I love Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door lock I like everything that has a cherry on top Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Define Noisia. So, yes, I wanted to do a quick intro because I realized the video does not have an intro. Yes, it started from nowhere. So, yes, uh, so it's a beautiful morning. I've just taken my breakfast now i want to tidy up my bedroom a little bit i want to change the beddings and uh, clean up a little bit and also uh, work on this uh, shoe rug so yes that's the plan yes so hub is not around he went for work and i know it's going to be a long Yes, a long two weeks for me because he's not around. He's coming after two weeks. So that's why you've not seen me active because he usually motivates me. But anyway, so yes, let's start the video. Uh, from here, let's tidy up the bedroom. I don't really need new friends, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone who can play, though. Wanna hang with me? I'm not really looking for a friend. Spend your time with me Looking for someone not afraid of Give it all to me Get next to me, get next to me All that I want is to get next to you, get next to you Not asking for much, but it feels like the two of us are gold and not gold, you see What do you got to take a chance, take a chance on me? It's magic So I really wanted to put on a duvet cover instead of putting this uh, white one. I wanted to uh, put uh, the pink uh, duvet cover. But uh, yes, uh, the hassle of putting it on is just too much for me. So yes, I ran out of breath so fast. So just decided to wait for hubby. We'll try it or we'll uh, put it on when uh, he's back. So I'll not talk too much because I actually have a, a cold or a flu so I don't even have uh, the voice to uh, have this voiceover so pardon me guys I hope you understand and uh, just enjoy the music. Didn't think I'd make 
it without you by my side let me feel your love again just the two of us and we could stay up all night kissing under street lights doing what we want to doing what we need to do staying up all night everything is all So you can get these uh, two uh, products that I've used. Uh, I've shown you the first one was Astonish uh, Surface Cleaner. I really, really love that. I don't know if they still have it because I bought it a while back and it has been very good. And uh, the one that I'm using uh, for the curtains and my bed is a fabric um, uh, spray. 
where you can just spray it on your fabric if, whether it's seats your bed or your curtains it smells mild it's it's quite good you can get them from Carrefour supermarket it was good on the weekends i'll be in fools drifting the deep space so brave and so stupid just like the movies How so on to some baking we'll be making a cake and i'll list down all the ingredients on the screen so yes uh, starting off i'll start off by beating uh, the margarine and the sugar so uh, for your cake to be soft or fluffy enough make sure you beat these three ingredients well and uh, I, I usually do this with the hand uh, mixer if you don't have the electric hand mixer you can uh, just use your whisk just make sure you've uh, beat them uh, enough so that uh, it's uh, soft So next I'm going to add uh, two eggs at a time and then I whisk it to ensure that uh, they're all uh, uh, mixed well with the mixture of sugar and uh, margarine. Was a thirsty night when I first saw you. Those green eyes caught me. Yeah, it was crazy. It was a Friday night when. So next up, we're going to add the flour, and I'm going to mix uh, the flour with the baking powder and salt. So notice I'm using um, a sieve. This ensures that uh, there is air, and uh, it also ensures. The cake will be fluffy enough. So after adding the flour, you're you're supposed to use maybe a hand mixer or a whisk or uh, uh, what is that spatula instead of using the electric hand mixer because we don't want to over mix it and then now uh, once it has started getting hard start adding milk Tonight on the couch in your apartment. No, I am not the 
eyes on the couch No, I am not the same Everything has changed Every day 24-7 You call my name And I will come running Yeah, every day 24-7 Yeah, every day I will come running, babe mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is the consistency we want We don't want our butter to be so runny or to be extra thick so this is just right so i'll, I'll go ahead and uh, uh, prepare the the tins for baking So for the sprinkles, uh, this is totally optional. You can just leave it out. But uh, my kids have been requesting for this thing for the longest time. It, uh, it was just in the cabinet, uh, just sitting there. So I decided to use it this time around so that they can enjoy their cupcakes. So make sure you preheat your oven. I'm going to put it at 180 degrees for like about uh, 20 to 30 minutes for the cupcakes and then for the other cake uh, 30 to 40 minutes so there you have it they are all done and you can see they are well cooked i'll show you the inside so the reason why i don't choose the two papers is because once you prepare your tins your baking tins well it just uh, <coughs> comes out well so yeah our well, cupcakes and my babies really really loved this i wish i had made uh, uh more but yes next time i'll make a full batch of them so you can see how it has cooked inside it's so fluffy and soft i really we really really enjoyed it so for the cake i had put it on the uppermost uh, part um, of the oven and uh, it was kind of burning and, it, and i did not know because uh i should have put it on the middle middle parts where uh the heat is not too much so yes that's why it has burned a little bit there but uh yes it was okay i can say uh, yes you can see how it turned out the baking uh paper really comes in handy you can get it from uh, the supermarket it helps a lot uh, uh, uh avoiding uh burning on the uh, lower part so even 
cutting it so easy because the cake is extra so, so soft. So this was on a, on a totally different day, just uh, a day before Habit left. So we were going to town for some errands. I was going to pick up some stuff, uh, things from the city market, do a little bit shopping before he went uh, for work. So that's basically it for uh, this video over here. I just wanted to, to take a video before he left. And also I wanted to film some uh, videos uh, for my uh, Instagram campaign and uh, yes because usually when he's not around it's so hard for me to find someone or to uh, get someone to uh, shoot with me so yes uh, I have really missed him and uh, I'm just wishing that these two weeks can just end so that Yes, he can come back home because it, it has been hectic. That's why I've not even been posting a lot with their two kids and uh, CBC projects. And uh, also Haley was doing uh, her exams. So I'm really, really busy right now with everything uh, when Happy is not around. But yes, so we've managed and we're managing. So yes, this was on a totally different day. And uh, we were having some um, lamb chops, some uh, fries for the kids, and the wages uh, for us adults, and on the side, some cabbage. You're with her, I can see that, that you miss me.
so for the lamb chops uh, we want them to be cooked uh, well so i'll be putting them on this foil and i'll cover it up completely so that uh, it can retain the heat and also the moisture for it to cook for like about one hour or so and then i'll uh, air it out or uh, uncover it so that it can be a little bit crispy and then i'll show you the ingredient i'll be using for um is it marinating the top coat yes just for the top coat so i'll put it uh, in the oven for about 200 degrees for one hour but i'll be checking it out to see if it's burning or anything so for the fries i i boil them for about a few minutes maybe three to five minutes with some salt for them to be tender and then i'll deep fry them so as i told you the fries are for my kids and then uh, for the wages uh, they are for the adults in the house and uh, one thing i learned or one thing i noticed that makes your uh, fries uh, pop out or have this great taste is adding a uh, cornstarch so if you have cornstarch in your house ensure that you add it in your fries i'm sure you're going to enjoy it differently so it really changes the the taste and it it brings that crunchiness even if it's not that dried up so just add a little bit of cornstarch and uh, you'll definitely enjoy it Once uh, it has uh, cooked uh, for about uh, one hour or so, I'm going to open it up. You can see uh, now it's a little bit uh, cooked. It's uh, almost done. So now I'll, put, I'll uh, now brush the top coating and then I'll return it for about 10 to 15 minutes and it should be done. So I'll just be turning them. Uh, so that the other side can also be crunchy and uh, uh, remove the any excess water that uh, might have been retained uh, from the cooking. You say you're special, one of a kind, one of the better boys. I'm on your level, that's what you say. But all I hear is noise. so once the first batch was cooked my kids had already started snacking on it because they could not wait until everything is cooked 
so i usually just serve them as they continue waiting for the rest of the things to cook so on to the wages i'll put down all the ingredients that uh, i'll be using and i'm also using this uh, baking uh, paper boy i can tell so deep under my spell sorry not sorry that i'm no help cause i'm full of myself boy don't you worry you'll find someone someone who wants you back but that is not me so give it up haven't you had enough i'm too busy loving my friends i ain't got no love I'm gonna be the girl to the end. It don't really matter what you do. Guess I have to tell you again. Cause you haven't got the news. Or you really need to understand that I don't wanna be your. So funny thing by the time I was done with everything everyone had already snacked on everything so the kids are, had already eaten uh, their fries <laughs> hubby and my house manager had already eaten um, the lamb chops before even served and also the first uh, round of uh, fries so yes uh, we were just uh, eating anyhow this uh, specific night because the things we are eating are, are basically like snacks so you can see Ivana was there and uh, she was telling me she's done with her fries I get 
Do you wanna get close? Baby, we can do this all night. Keep on second guessing that love, oh no. I don't really care if you don't mind. Don't mind. So on to some more baking. So this was uh, on a, I think on a weekend, on a morning, I was uh, making some uh, pancakes, some fluffy pancakes, and uh, these are the that the ingredients I'll be using. Don't choose a lot of uh, sugar if you don't like sugar. So you can see uh, I did not put all of it. So I'll just list down the ingredients on the screen. First, you need to beat your sugar and um, and the eggs uh, until they are uh, dissolved, until the sugar is dissolved. And then you can add uh, the other ingredients. So I used the hand mixer for that. And then I'll proceed to put uh, some uh, maziwa mala. So I noticed, even Abby was asking me what was different in the uh this pancake this specific pancakes it's because i used uh, maziwa mala so if you want uh, to change the game of your pancakes use maziwa mala you won't regret it so yes so this is maziwa mala and then i'll proceed to sieve my flour and uh, also some baking powder So I also noticed that uh, my kids usually eat uh, more pancakes when I cook it like this. So that's why I'm cooking on two different uh, pans. So the other two small ones are for my kids and then these other ones we can eat it as adults. And uh, if your kids are picky eaters or they usually don't uh, like eating certain things, I think uh, the way you prepare it matters a lot. Because they will eat this with no issues and uh, without even me monitoring them. But if I just cut the big one, they'll just just look at it and they'll not eat it. So yes, this one really helps. If you want your kids to eat uh, pancakes, just put them in small, small to portions like this. I'm sure they're going to eat it uh, better. it you can see how fluffy they are this is all thanks to the maziwa mala they turned out so well and they were so fluffy you can see uh the two small pancakes these ones are for my kids then the other ones are for the adults they were moist enough they were not dry so make sure you put some margarine inside and uh yes uh, i'm sure you're going to enjoy it so yes that's uh, basically it for today's uh, video 
I think it has been quite long, but um, I hope you stay tuned till the end. So thank you so much, guys. If you have any questions, you can leave them on the comment section. And uh, please do like the video. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Join the family. I'll be so happy. For my followers, you know I love you all. And thank you so much for being here. So thank you so much, guys. I'll see you on my next video. Bye. I do without you. What is it that you